hello guys welcome back to new video and in today's video we are going to be probably discussing about the layers of the small intestine and uh, this is going to be uh, important and these layers are you know the names of these layers are similar to the one of the uh, stomach as well while in the last video we have discussed the small intestine introduction and its part uh, including the duodenum jejunum and ileum if you haven't checked out that part one do check it out let's move for today's video uh, in today's video we are just focusing more upon the layers yesterday i also showed you some layers uh, maybe let me see in some pictures yes i yesterday show you showed you that there are three layers uh, four layers the mucosa submucosa muscularis externa and serosa is a four layer. Serosa is the outermost while the mucosa is the innermost. The same we are discussing all of these layers in detail today. Right? Okay. So in this picture you're gonna see that uh there are four sections made on the vertical side. Number one from here to here then number two to three between here to here, then three to four, there are three sections made. Right? Now, uh, the, the, the thinnest one and the outermost one on this part, you can see the thickness is very, a single plate like structure, this is serosa layer. And uh, between the the second one as we have known is uh, quite similar in the stomach as well the muscular is external and between them is the sub serous layer right and uh, muscular is external is furthermore constituted of the circular layer and the longitudinal layer right and let's move forward for the third layer that is a submucosa Submucosa is uh, on the upper side of the musculus externa while uh, this is the main layer in the case of small intestine the mucous membrane or the mucous layer is the most important and the most major layer in the case of small intestine because it has got some important structures it has got uh, muscularis mucosae uh, which is the binding between the both layers it has got Crypts of Lieberkuhn. Now these are uh, glands which are present in the structure which is called as villi or villus. And these villus are kind of very important. Uh, probably we're gonna discuss this, uh, in the digestion chapter as well. Like they have got different roles. We are probably discussing furthermore as well. Uh, they have got the lacteals. Now the lymph is supplied throughout our body, right? And uh, the lymph has got vessel system in the body and the vessel system or the lymph vessels in the villi structure are termed to be called as lacteals right and they have got some special functions because they have got a specific name as well uh, they are responsible for the absorption of the fats this is the reason like after stomach uh, in the first part of the small intestine there is a major number of villi or villus present because they do absorption of the fat right and uh, why this is happening like why the, the fat is not directly being absorbed and this is the topic of the digestion chapter we hope probably we're going to discuss this uh, it in our further uh, upcoming videos uh, probably while uh, there are smooth muscles blood vessels supply as well in this layer and uh, there are simple columnar epithelium cells and they have also mucus <coughs> right here uh, you can see that this uh, pyramid like structure this part is uh, termed to be as villus they have got some sort of uh, you know say that uh, they have got uh, uh, some immune cells as well which can protect your body and kill the pathogenic or phagin particles in the food present uh, so they have got some amazing functions while here you again gonna see that serosa is the thickest muscular external is the middle one uh, which has got furthermore two types submucosa <coughs> comes after the both and uh, this one part 
is the mucosa which is the main one right they have got a structure which is called as villus right okay here again you're gonna see I'm just showing you again to make a picture in your mind that you're gonna remember again and again what was the structure after most uh, serosa <coughs> then you've got longitudinal muscle circular muscle then we have got some mucosa then mucosa and the mucosal fold inside while in these we have got structures which are called as villi right let's move forward here is a kind of elaborated structure uh, okay, I am just including the point over here that villas also have a gland which is termed as crypts of Libercon and uh, that is also having a very important function. If the video is not long, we will discuss it together. Otherwise, our next video will be on the topic of crypts of Libercon. And along with that, in this layers, there is also a gland named as the Brunner's gland which is present in the submucosa. Right? And it, it of course it is present in submucosa, but its opening is in the mucosa. So maybe we gonna discuss these both glands in our next video. Well, in, in today's video, we're just making the concept. So uh, just changing the name of the uh, topic. Part one. This is part one, right? Layers of small intestine. Part one. Okay. <coughs> Let's start from here. This is a good picture, animated one. Serosa. Uh, thinness while these muscles both on this sides and this sides and we have got muscular externa this has got these both muscles I have told before then we have got submucosa muscular mucosa which attaches the both then we have got intestinal crypt this has got some glands and you know uh, this is also part of mucosa right this is mucosa and uh, the lymph vessel inside it the villus which is doing the absorption of the uh, fat that is termed to be called as lacteal while this is the villus structure and this is a clear picture showing you what villus is the single is villus while the pillar is villi and there is a blood uh, capillary supply as well and we've got columnar epithelium cells uh, which are surrounding it all now this is a kind of blur picture but i just uh, you know this was kind of good to look it uh, on the basis of diagram now uh, here you got stomach and all the system we just took out uh, the small intestine out then it has got different layers like different layers the the, the innermost has got some these structures these are called villi there's a small intestine a fold of the intestinal lining and these are forming the villus villus uh, this, uh, our villi and yes, in this we villi we have got some index structure of villi in which you got blood capillary supply and the lacteal supply and the the crypts of Libercon as well and uh, I just wanted to well include over here this is also important like if villi is like this sort of structure or if villi is you know say that this structure if villi is this right so it will be having some uh, you know hair like projections on it hair like projections on it now these are the mi microvilli and which are helping it to perform its function probably the you know uh, attracting the food molecules and uh, attracting pathogens attachment of the pathogens food molecules and absorption and all that stuff so uh, this is a part one and probably in the next part we will discuss the uh, Brunner's gland and the crypt of liver cone in detail and if you learned something you like the video meet you guys in the next video till that goodbye